Today, we are going to read a story about the legislative branch of our federal government. This story is called House Mouse, Senate Mouse. America's mice have a government too, with presidents, senators, and Congress mice who are elected, debate, vote the popular will. It's a rodent republic on Capitol Hill. There's a Capitol there that looks just like our own, a mouse house and Senate of column and stone. Mouse masons and workers copied every detail from the tip of the dome down to every last nail. One day in Missouri, a wonderful state, a teacher, Miss Tough Mouse, at about half past eight, told her class, settle down everyone and sit up straight. There's a special assignment and it must not be late. The class altogether, for worse or for better, must write an interesting letter. You ought to get started, not later, but soon, for you must turn it in this Thursday at noon. While the children, excited, did not waste a minute working hard on their letter and what to put in it. For three classrooms straight, they wrote and they read. Then the letter was finished and hear what it says. Dear Congress, we think there should be, if you please, a law to establish a national cheese. We like this idea, we hope it will pass. Yours sincerely, Miss Tough Mouse's second grade class. Miss Tough Mouse, of course, gave the letter an A and mailed it to Congress the very next day. It went to the mailroom where the mail comes in crates from Missouri, Mississippi, and other mouse states. The postmaster took it to Longworth McMouse, the capable, confident squeaker of the house. A copy was rushed across to the Senate to the mouse majority leader, Russell Mouse Bennett. Then Longworth called Russell as quick as a blink. A national cheese? Well, what do you think? Good idea, the mouse majority leader said back. We'll draw up a bill to get it on track. To make a new law, Congress starts with a bill, a document written with care and with skill. To find the right words, mouse assistants began with the Library of Congress and the books found within. Next, a committee considers the bill, for it, for it just isn't finished or ready until the members discuss it, make changes and more, then finally send it along to the floor. That's the floor of each chamber, the Senate and House. It's where each senator and each Congress mouse gets to vote on the bill and if enough do, the president signs it if he likes it too. But it's not always easy for all to agree on just what a bill should do, say, or be. For example, the bill for a national cheese caused a big disagreement, a lot of unease. Some mice wanted cheddar to take the top spot. Some mouse, mice wanted Roquefort, but others said not. Some said Parmesan, some couldn't care less. So many opinions and such a big mess. Just when it seemed things couldn't get bleaker, the mouse majority leader agreed with the squeaker to gather the brightest on Capitol Hill, 
to figure out how they could rescue the bill. The rotunda was packed, a good place to meet, when Senator Thur Thurmouse rose to his feet. The oldest and wisest in Congress by years, the squeaker, the leader, the rest were all ears. Our mouse founding fathers, he said, were so wise. They founded our nation around compromise. They wrote it all down in the Mouse Constitution. So after much thought, I propose this solution. We are city mice, country mice, large mice, mice and small. We like many cheeses, in fact, like them all. But we're Americans first. So now, if you please, let's agree that American is our national cheese. Bravo, they all shouted. Hooray, they yelled twice. What a good compromise, what terrific advice. In the House and the Senate, it passed right away, and the President signed it the very next day. And back in Missouri, where everything started, Miss Tough Mouse's class was very glad hearted. Look, children, look, she said, isn't it grand? We live in a wonderful, wonderful land.